We are living in a time of waiting. We're very familiar with what it means to wait. We wait in line at the grocery store, at the LCBO, at the beer store, at the dollar store, at the drug store. Everywhere we go, we wait in lines. If you had concerns about the virus or if you had been away traveling, you waited for 14 days in isolation, in quarantine. We wait for test results. We wait to get back to work. We wait for somebody to get ready. <laughs> we wait to be able to hug somebody we love again. And we are waiting for the day when we can be back together again in worship. Waiting is not unfamiliar to the people of God. In uh, Isaiah chapter 40, the very end of it, we read that God gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord or those who wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. In Psalm 27, the very end, I am confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong, take heart, and wait for the Lord. And there are a host of New, Char New Testament characters who wait for the coming of the Lord, who are waiting for the promised Messiah. There's Zechariah, Nicodemus, Joseph of Arimathea, Simeon and Anna the prophetess, they are all waiting for the coming of Jesus. We wait with our eyes fixed on the future. We wait in hope. We even wait in hope of that September 6th date when we can be together again. We wait for the goodness of God to come our way. But what if it's not just about waiting for what will come? But what if the actual waiting is important? What if we ask the question, what might God be doing in the waiting? What is God doing in the waiting? There's a great uh, worship song that's popular right now called Waymaker and the bridge, and the dog is about to bark, I think, I apologize for that. Um, but there's a, there's, a, there's a bridge in that song that says, even though I can't see it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. And so remember, and don't miss what God is doing in this waiting period. Pause and reflect and ask and trust that even as we wait, he is at work. Let's pray. Great and holy God, we do wait in expectation we are still confident of this, that we will see your goodness. But even as we wait, we ask that we would be aware of what you're doing right now, that we would look for the ways that you are at work and that we would still our hearts and just pause and be in the waiting. There is nobody like you, our great God, and so we bow before you in worship this morning. We wait upon you in worship and ask that you would work in us even now, even as we wait and even as we hope. We give this time of worship to you, and we thank you for your presence and your goodness and your love that sustains us through the waiting. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.